installing a subsurface drainage system is the best way to protect your crops from being damaged by heavy rainfall and excessive soil moisture. But first, you need to know how your drainage coefficient impacts the performance of your drainage system. A properly designed drainage system could make or break your crop investment. The amount of time it takes to drain excess water off your field is directly related to your drainage coefficient. It's simple, the amount of excess water your drainage system can remove in a 24-hour period. Drainage coefficient. Your drainage system should be capable of removing excess water from the upper portion of your crop's active root zone within 48 hours of a heavy rainfall. For most upper Midwest farmland, this means draining 3 eighths of an inch of excess water per day. In other words, the recommended drainage coefficient for most upper Midwest farmland is 3 eighths of an inch. Know your drainage coefficient and harvest bigger yields. It's February in Farmville. Yep. I got my drainage system installed after harvest last November. Ellingson Drainage designed and installed it at a 3 8 inch drainage coefficient. I'm gonna sell a lot more corn and I didn't have to buy any more land. Gonna buy a new truck come harvest time this year. Yeah, I got a drainage system installed too. I'm not sure what my drainage coefficient is and my contractor never told me. It's April in Farmville. The winter snow has melted. The field on the left has a drainage system that was designed and engineered with a drainage coefficient of 3 8 inch. The field on the right has a drainage system, but it wasn't properly designed and engineered for the maximum performance of the field. The field on the right drains better than it did before, but it's still not ready for planting. Maybe in a week or so. Or, to put it another way, there'll be a few less bushels per acre at harvest. It's June in Farmville. It's been back-to-back -back rainfalls. The crops on the left seem to be doing well. The ones on the field to the right? Not so much. It's August in Farmville, and it's a scorcher. Hasn't been a drop of rain for weeks, and it doesn't look to get any better soon. You'd think a drainage system wouldn't help now, but the crops on the left have strong roots that were encouraged to grow deep into the soil profile. The crops on the right are just getting baked in the soil that got compacted when June's heavy rains didn't drain fast enough. It's October in Farmville. The field on the left is ready for harvest, and it's going to be a bumper crop. The field on the right? Well, there's always next year. It's December in Farmville. I don't get it. We both had drain tile installed on our farms. Why were you able to plant sooner and produce better yields than me? My farm was better than it has been in the past, but doesn't compare to yours. Yep, the 3 8 inch coefficient made all the difference. My field produced at its maximum capacity. Like I said, my field produced better than it has in the past, but saving a few bucks up front looks like it's going to cost me in the long run. I really missed an opportunity to have my field produce maximum yields. Shoulda called Ellingson Drainage. This has been an Ellingson Drainage presentation. For more information, visit www.ellingsondrainage.com.